Hey, it's Jerry Garcia's clone here to talk to you about Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, <laughs> if you know who Jerry Garcia is, you have a great taste in music, and we need to talk. But yes, hi, welcome to my video. Like, just absolutely going ham about a card that. Nobody really thought was going to be really good for Mage of Overlord. Freaking Terai. Now you're thinking, what is Terai? Well, Terai is a level 4 fairy type monster. That when it is in your hand, you could target one monster that has activated its effect this turn destroy it, it has to be in the main monster zone, destroy it, and this card takes its place. You know how epic that is? This card, this card literally does so many good things for itself. I have a Mechlord deck, right? I have a Mechlord deck, and... This just auto activates a mech lord. Like, there's just so much I am proud about Terai. It replaces it, the fact that it replaces the monster too. It's kind of like a kaiju in a way, but it doesn't tribute. So it gets over when somebody tries to activate like something to stop you from kaijuing, but you just got Terai in the back corner. You can pitch it with the Ashizu cards. Like, if you're using a mill deck and you're using Terai, you can pitch it off of Kel uh, Keldo and search out your Medora. Making that a still a somewhat viable. Uh, though that's kind of a reach, in my opinion. I, I ha I, but I have been searching, trying out many ventures for this, because every time I come up with a freaking spicy check tech choice, spicy check choice, honestly, the check, like, you check players, if you are watching this right now, thank you. You, the Czech Republic has given me some ideas like from their regionals and stuff honestly Germany, Czech Republic uh, OCG Japan of course uh, of course Morica and uh France. There are some very crazy duelists out there who come up with a lot of spicy tech choices. And uh, they're one of the reasons that I keep so fresh with looking for tech choices myself. And Terai is an example of one of these times. So here is a scenario, right? You have a Terai in your hand. It is your turn. You are against a Cash Tira Fenrir. You're against a Cash Tira Fenrir and three three face downs, assuming you're against a Labyrinth player. Worst they could do is return. Uh, they could return the Terai to your hand, so you summon something to bait out the. The Fenrir. You target Fenrir with Terai. Kill it. You got rid of a Fenrir. Now unless they got Tear Cash in their hand. That is definite. You do not want to Terai someone with a Tear Cash in their hand, I tell you. Cash, uh, Tear Elements Cash Tira in someone's hand and you Terai their Fenrir. You're just you're just propagating another response where they could get a whole bunch of mills off.
which you would think, you would think by getting rid of Kalbeck and uh, freaking Agito that the mill decks would be going, but no. We're just getting some different mill decks, my friends. We're getting so many different mill decks. As a matter of fact, they just took out Agito and Kalbeck before... Agito and Kalbeck literally became such a problem because of the amount of mill that's coming with their new products. The problem is, with Kudabi, they just keep breaking cards. <laughs> I'm excited. I hope I hope somebody literally watches this, considers trying out Tarai, and proves me right. You know? And why am I just going ham on this concept of this level 4, zero attack, zero defense, not even quick effect hand trap? Well, because I believe this is almost as good as when we had Bullblader to out the Colossus. In uh, Necroz format, or we had uh, it was almost as good as uh, Danko Seca. Danko Seca, by the way, Danko Seca is one of my favorite cards of all time, and there is a there is a there's a video coming about Danko Seca very soon. Because that card is very special to my heart. I love Danko Seca so much. And it comes with a very, very, very fun story about a time at a local tournament. Which I'm going to do animated. I'm going to do some of my story times animated in the future. Hope you have a good time. Love you all. Have a great day. Uh, like, comment uh, what your spicy tech choice is. If you're coming up with spicy tech choices so we could get people around. And if I notice a spicy tech choice and I really dig it, I will sh shout you out in a, in a future video. I will... Definitely give credit where credit's due. I'm not about, I'm not about uh, just hogging everything for myself. As a matter of fact, the more, the more variety in Yu-Gi-Oh, the better. People hate variety in Yu-Gi-Oh, but pile formats like this were what the original formats were built on. And, uh, that's what made the old format so fun. Because the skill in that, and people will bitch at me for this, watch. The skill in pile formats is everybody, everybody wants to play the same deck. Everybody wants to play the same deck. But, uh... You doing a different pile, the direct pile, to counter the meta. Not like anti-meta, but like to counter what your local meta is. You're good. You're good. You got packs in your pocket, bro. Have a great day.